Hi guys, Dane here, and today it is my December book haul, even though it is currently the 30th of November. I mean, it is 9pm, so it's almost December, and the reason I'm doing this now is because this is a Christmas gift, so for Noemi, my other half, I got a copy of Voyage au Fair by Virginia Woolf. So this is To the Lighthouse in French, because she's French, you see. So she's currently reading Une Chambre à Moi, I think it's called. But then she was saying, like, it's already kind of mistranslated even in the title, because a chambre is a bedroom, and that's not really what it's about, if that makes sense. Okay, so I got some books in the post today, and I did film this, but then I don't know what happened to the footage, so I guess I'm filming it again to show you what I've got. So I've got A Skin Full of Shadows by Francis Hardinge, very cool end pages. This is presumably your YA novel. Uh, I read, what did I read, The Lie Tree and enjoyed that and um, yeah, Anthony Andrews of Booktube fame uh, dropped me an email asking me if I'd be interested in reading, uh, buddy reading some Francis Hardinge with him and well particularly he asked actually, this was one of like three books that he asked if I'd be int interested in uh, reading with him and I was like heck yeah, follow up with you know a book that I enjoyed earlier. Okay, then we have A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. So my girlfriend's currently reading this in French. And I read To the Lighthouse not long ago and thought that was sort of excellent and really interesting to read. So I thought I would pick up a copy of this and give this a read as well and uh, see what I think. Because this is really the Virginia Woolf book that I've always suspected I would like the most as well, you know? Alright, then we've got Alien 3 by Alan Dean Foster. This is a novelization of the movie. I've recently read Alien and Aliens, and so I thought I'd read this one. There are also some, like, whatever the other Alien movies are that I don't even, I'm not even familiar with, but yeah, I guess uh, the other two have been good, so I'd like to continue with this series. And then we have Day by Eli Weisel, previously titled The Accident, and this is the third book in his Night, Dawn, Day trilogy. Night is non-fiction about his own experiences during the Holocaust, and then Dawn and Day are both novels. And I read, uh, Buddy read Dawn with Alex Black, and I'm hoping that she'll Buddy read Day with me as well, so we'll see. And then finally, I have Snowpiercer, number two, The Explorers by Legrand and Rochette. So, uh, this has kind of been turned into a movie as well, but this is one that my, that my girlfriend has seen the movie of and I've not seen the movie but I've read the first graphic novel so now I want to read the rest of the graphic novels and then to give her the graphic novels so that she can read them as well especially because I think the guy that writes them is French so French Canadian I believe maybe I'm wrong I don't know does it even say the guy who originally wrote it Jacques Lob, uh was a Franco-Belgian comic book author uh, he wrote the first volume of Snowpiercer between 1982 and 1983, died in 1990, and then Benjamin Legrand followed, you know, he took over the franchise, I guess, with Jean-Marc Rochette. Okay, so I have a book to haul for you. Here it is. I got this from the book exchange at Tesco. They have, like, these books there, and you can pay 50p to pick them up. This was actually only one ninety nine when it was brand new. This is My Purple Scented Novel by Ian McEwan. Clearly not a novel, but, you know, My Purple Scented Short Story by the looks of it. It doesn't smell purple either. Uh, I don't have the best relationship with Ian McEwan because I read Amsterdam recently and uh, I disagreed with... Well, I don't know why he wrote it because he basically implied that assisted suicide is super easy and you can use it as a murder weapon, which is untrue. And it was like published in like 97 when there were a lot of arguments and debates about assisted suicide and euthanasia and I for one support it and I just feel like his novel could have done a lot of damage to that and could have left a lot of people, you know, suffering at the end of their lives, so... I think he's a bit of a dick because of that, to be honest. But uh, I'm going to give him another go with this one, and if this one is alright, then maybe I will pick up, like, Atonement or something like that, but I don't have particularly high hopes. I also received uh, Asterix... Well, it's actually pronounced different. Asterix Le Gaulois. Uh I can't remember who it's by. It's the first Asterix comic slash graphic novel, anyway. Uh, in its original French, so I'm going to be reading that with my partner, who is French, and I'm learning French. You all know this by this point. Um, yeah, I'd ordered it a while back and it basically I thought it wasn't going to show up and then it turned out the postman had like put it behind my dustbin. So it had been outside for like a week in the rain and stuff but luckily, well I say luckily because I kind of hate that he used packaging that could have been recycled except it had plastic on the inside so it now can't be recycled. But the plastic on the inside did protect the book so there is that. But I would have rather he just used brown parcel wrapping paper that can be recycled and then the, the postman had delivered it to me properly. 
I would show it to you, but I can't because I've already taken it to my other half's house. We've actually already started reading it, so yeah, happy times. All right, so I've just got one book for you today. I'm just trying to sneakily take the labels off here. It looks like they're not stuck on too much. I'll do it better anyway. But now you can see the both titles. So this is Petit Son Cherche Son Refuge. I guess that's probably not how you say it. Petit Son Cherche Son Refuge. No, I think that probably is how you say it. By uh, Richard Edwards and Susan Winter. And this is in both French and English. It's obviously a children's book. So on the rear cover we have Petit Son Cherche Pour... Petit son cherche partout dans la jungle son refuge mais sans succès. Parviendra, uh, parviendra t il jamais à la trouver? Yeah, so little monkey's looking all over the jungle for his one safe place, but none of the places are quite right. Will he ever find it? So this is just going to help me to read French, and also it's in both French and English throughout, which is ideal. Hello, it is uh, post Christmas. I got some Amazon vouchers for Christmas, so I bought a few things. Um, I've also received this in the post, which is Chris Voss with Tal Raz, Never Split the Difference, Negotiating as if your life depended on it. And this is just another, another one of those business books that I have to uh, review for a client. So there is that. And then I have these little thingies here. This is another one of those things for a client. So this is The Alter Ego Effect, The Power of Secret Identity to Transform Your Life by Todd Herman. Gee, that one sounds quite interesting. And then I have these two from World of Books. I was wondering um, like how stuff had got here so quickly, so these are a couple I ordered before Christmas um, just because I realised they were missing from my collection even though I've read them and I want to keep them. So this is Alice Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. I didn't realise it was both of them, so that's kind of ideal. And uh, this is The Lady in the Van by Alan Bennett. Okay, we're going to go hands free here because I've already filmed this and the footage went weird. So I've got two more books that have arrived. I got Andrei Sapkowski, Sword of Destiny, which is book two in the Witcher series. As you can see, I've already started reading it about halfway through. And then up here in my current little, this is my little display area up here, look. Uh, I got this, which is Bosch Healthy Vegan by Henry Firth and Ian Theesby. And this is um, the latest Bosch cookbook. It's only actually been out for a few days. And it, yeah, it's all vegan recipes, but they're all low fat and low sugar as well. Although there are like still sugar and things like pizza dough, for example, which me historically, I just always would have just followed the recipe. Um, but yeah, I've been learning to not add sugar. So yeah. That's what I got this month. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. If not, if you want to. I'm up for buddy reads as well. Um, obviously, depending on whether I've already read it or not. Uh, hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.